Hi guys, my name is Axel Mulat. In this video, we will discuss about Google AdSense requirements for your blog. Before you sign up in Google AdSense, be sure you meet the several requirements for your blog. These requirements are not so complicated and easy to achieve. If you achieve these requirements, I guarantee to you, your blog will be approved in Google AdSense. So let's get started. First, we will read this article, Eligibility to Participate in AdSense. So let's browse this. So number one, do you have a website? Of course, blog is important for requirements in AdSense. So second, are you at least 18 years old? If you're 17, wait for your 18. Does your site comply with our program policies? AdSense have a program policies. We will browse that later. Has your site been active for at least six months? Meaning at least six months active with 15 to 20 posts. Already have pages. Already have social medias, active social medias, already submitted in Google search engine in Bing. So if you think blog empty at least six months, that's not. So your site must have a content and at least active six months. In my case, I don't believe you need to wait at least six months. At least you achieve the requirements and sign up to AdSense. In my experience, my blog application has been approved in three months with 15 posts okay so let's proceed to next slide languages ads and supports so obviously english most popular is english as long as your language listed here you can able to apply in adsense So the very first step, step one, you should be familiar in AdSense program policies. I already talked this in the eligibility, so let's browse this article. AdSense program policies. So very strict, invalid click, and impression. Don't click your own ad. Encouraging clicks. Don't ask your friends or relative to click your own ad. Content guidelines. Don't post uh, adult content like porn about hacking, cracking, beer, hard alcohol. You must definitely read this link. Copyrighted. Be sure your own posts don't use other stuff. Traffic source. Don't use spam traffic. So again, you definitely read this section. Step 2, blog template design. Blog template must be responsive or mobile ready. Uh, your blog must be responsive design because it's a matter, a lot of approval in AdSense. So find a clean template, clear, friendly navigation, friendly sidebar, and responsive. So let's browse an example of a responsive template. So I test my blog in this series so browse this website if you want to test your own blog so click go so speaking of responsive my blog is responsive to any devices such as tablet mobile and large screen monitor so let's try let's try iphone so as you see my blog has compatible to iphone iPod portrait and 15 inches MacBook. It's compatible to screen sizes, large to small. So second, we will test my blog to Google mobile friendly test tool. So analyze. So awesome. This page is mobile friendly. So test your own blog. Step 3 requirement, create helpful blog posts, at least 15 to 20. So don't copy a blog content from others. 
blog content word at least minimum of 300 words so don't get short you can't rush to create a post right so create a post one or two or three posts per week or three or four posts per month in my personal experience before I apply in AdSense my blog has a 15 posts I publish a post four times a month to reach 15 posts so let's proceed to step four requirement create important pages for your blog so create about us contact us privacy policy so let's browse my blog and let's see the example copy this so as you see here they have uh, about us contact us sitemap privacy policy this is the important pages you must add these pages to your blog so about privacy policy where to get a privacy policy copy this link privacy policy you can generate a privacy policy here so site title fill up this form so your site title, your site URL, link, your email address, so yes, so your ads in your site, Google AdSense in this case, and generate privacy policy, and copy this to your blog content, this is your privacy policy, I use this in my blog Axel Mulat. A step 5 requirement create social media fan pages all blog and website have a social media pages these days so create Facebook pages Twitter Pinterest Google Plus in Facebook you can create a pages under your account and Google Plus you can create under your account so create those social media fan pages okay step six requirements purchase a domain name for your blog this is optional guys but if you purchase a domain name for your blog it has a very high chance to approve your adsense application to purchase a domain name don't use the illegal words like hack crack download etc avoid copyright violation for example cracktrick.com how to hack.com like that so don't use any adult term we already see this in adsense terms and condition so bros so adsense term as you see in the content guideline don't use hack cracking content again purchasing a domain name for your blog is optional but if you're really serious to your blog and applying to AdSense, you've definitely purchased a domain name. Most successful in AdSense had their domain name for their blog, okay? Step 7 requirement, setting up Google Analytics for your blog. Google Analytics is a tool that can track your blog visitors where it came from. It can track what devices they use to visit your blog. So let's go and browse Google Analytics website. So sign in if you have Google account. We will add Google Analytics to my blog in the next chapter in this series. If you want to add your own, go ahead. So let's proceed to next step. Step 8. Setting up Google Webmaster Tool for your blog. Setting up Google Webmaster Tool is the same as submitting in Google search engines. So let's browse to Google Webmaster Tool. So sign in. If you have a Google account, I didn't create a video yet. We will create how to demonstrate how to add a sitemap in the next chapter in this video. If you want to set up your own, go ahead. So submit a sitemap XML. So submit an XML sign up in Google Webmaster in WordPress. For example, this is a sitemap link. You need to submit this in Google Webmaster tool. So let's browse this, for example. 
So this is the sitemap of my blog axelmulat.com. So you need to submit this in Google Webmaster Tool. And this is the example of blogger.com sitemap. Let's copy this and let's see. So see it's pretty the same. So submit this this URL in Google Webmaster Tool. So next step, setting up Bing Webmaster Tool. It's the same to Google Webmaster Tool. You need to submit a sitemap too. So same process. So go ahead and Bing.com Toolbox Webmaster Tool and submit a sitemap for your blog. So here is a question. Has your site been active for at least six months? Will they talk this in the eligibility in AdSense? So it required six months active in the internet? Well, it's depending what kind of CMS platform you use. If you're using Blogger, it requires six months active. So at least you meet the requirement, try five months, but six months is best patient. In my personal experience, I apply in AdSense in three months, old blog, self-hosted WordPress. And I already done the requirements. After two days, they approved my application. Traffic source. Don't buy traffic spam. The secret of getting traffic from a search engine is create a very helpful blog post. The post has very searchable in Google search engine based on the keywords. Keywords suggest from google.com. Keywords from AdWords. So if you create a post, include a keyword phrase in the post title, meta description, blog content, social media traffic. If you publish a post, post it to your social medias to get traffic from your fans. Email subscribers. If you use Google Feed Burner, they will notify to their email to your new published posts. If they interested, they go to your site and read to your new published posts. The good candidate, at least 50 plus real visitors per day. In my personal experience, I have at least 100 plus visitors per day before I apply in AdSense. So do your best if you achieve 50 plus visitors per day, that's a good candidate. And don't do this. Don't ask your friends, relatives, students at large to visit your blog without any interest. It will impact badly to your website. So don't do that without any interest. If in case, if you have other network ads in your blog already, such as Tritika, media.net or advertiser remove it first before applying AdSense. We need to share your application. In my personal experience, I really don't use these other network ads. I use AdSense only because AdSense is the best of all of them. The approval process. After you submitted your AdSense application, I think these days you can able to log in in AdSense website, but it doesn't mean your account was fully approved. After you submit it, you will get an email notification from AdSense team within 24 hours regarding the final status of your application, which is qualified or not. If your application is qualified, you need to create your very first ad and paste that ad to your blog. And that ad needs a visitor's impression and you need to wait one or two or three days after that ad received an impression from the visitors. You will be received a congratulations email from AdSense and your AdSense application has finally approved. Once your AdSense account has been approved, make it precious guys. Don't try to break AdSense program policies. You'll become a YouTube partner in Easy. You can monetize your own original videos. Don't copy other videos in YouTube and earn money. So what you will do is link your YouTube account to AdSense account and starting earn money. 
from your own original videos. If you're an Android developer or iOS developers, you can create a mobile apps. You can monetize your apps via AdMob and earn money of those apps, your own app. What you will do is link your AdSense account to AdMob account. Before you sign up in AdMob account, be sure you have an AdSense account already. And don't rush applying in AdSense, guys. Be sure you've done the requirements. And I guarantee to you, your application will be approved if you achieve the requirements. And good luck. And that's all for this video, guys. If you have a question, just fill in the comment box section. And follow me in my Twitter account, at Axel Mulat. And like us in our social media fan pages. So see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.